looking through some of your ideas and I noticed a theme. They're all financials, but they're not the names that people think of all the time. Truist, Bank of New York. Tell us about them. So basically, the banking group has started out very strong this year. They had wonderful capital returns last week. They uh, raised the dividends across the board, a lot of share buybacks. But the stocks have sold off in the last two weeks based upon interest rates coming lower. We think that's a great opportunity to step in and really build some positions of financials. There are a lot of good things going on, and you're getting them at great prices with great yields. So we would be buying into this weakness in a fairly significant way. Even as 10-year yields have ticked down from their highs, and maybe they don't move to two by the end of the year like so many think, even if they stay at 1.4, 1.6, can those companies you mentioned, David, still do well? Even if they stay down here, the companies will do well because their loan portfolios are very good. They're buying back a great deal of stock. Bank of New York, for example, is buying back 13% of the stock, and we think they're going to do that at a reasonable clip. The other part of the story, however, is we don't think that rates are going to stay down here. The economy is coming back very strong. Inflation is definitely kicking in. We hope that it's transitory, but at a minimum, it is kicking in and should be three, three and a half percent level. Uh, and there is a tremendous government spending and deficit. All of those things should push rates higher. And we think ultimately, whether it's one month, six months or nine months, rates are going to be going up. The stocks are going to react or the bank stocks are going to react in advance to that. Uh, so we think you're getting them at a great price before uh, interest rates move higher and these stocks move significantly higher. What do you make everybody rushing back into technology stocks, David? Uh, we think that it's going to be relatively short-lived. Value has done exceptionally well since last October. It has pulled back in the last month, and growth and technology has had a great run. Uh, we think it's going to be a pause that refreshes on the value side, so we would be buying value stocks into that weakness. We own a lot of uh, technology companies. We own Microsoft and Apple and Google and Facebook. They've had a great run in the last year. They've had a great run in the last month. In terms of our overall portfolio, we like them, but we don't think they're going to be the greatest contributors or leaders in the back half of the year. We think other areas that have not done as well are going to start to yeah. play catch up. So we like technology, but we would not be jumping uh, all in here. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.